It's not very often I'm lost for words, but this is one of those times. Buongiorno a tutti. Sono the farm sim guy. Hello everyone. It's the farm sim guy here. Hope you're all doing well. We are looking today at Edo Mod uh, EGA Gaming's Italia map, which was released uh, on Sunday morning, um, UK time. And I tell you what, he has just rewritten the rule book for map making for Farming Simulator 19. This thing is I I literally have no words to explain how beautiful this map is based on uh, various areas of Italy but um, for somebody who's traveled to Italy a few times and loves the country and especially the food and the wine um, it's got a real feel of Tuscany around it um, but you just look around and this is gorgeous absolutely gorgeous the detail the attention to detail the quality of the buildings um, everything looks bespoke I've not seen any uh, uh, things from anywhere else on the map. Now, of course, we're going to do a little bit of a tour today, um, and I thought it was appropriate to use an appropriate vehicle. So we've got this classic um, Fiat um, 125 here. Beautiful little car, and little is the word. But listen to that. Just Can you hear that music in the background? It's so good. It's so good. And this is, I mean, it's about as Italian as you can get. You know my feelings on maps. Um, and authenticity and things like that. So from that perspective, you know, I'm in my element here. This thing is just breathtaking. Um, we're in the, the little town here. Uh, I'm just going to run down the hill a little bit, but I'm not going to go too far. Let's have a look at the PDA. Now, um, Edomod, uh, or Edomod, I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong, um, is an architect by trade, and it really shows in the detail and the quality of this. Um, he's got a real creative eye, everything down to the PDA. You know, this custom PDA is absolutely beautiful, even with the key over here as well, telling you uh, how things uh, are translated um, from the map to uh, English for us uh, people who don't speak masses of Italian. Um, not a huge map, a uh, lovely little small map, small fields. It is authentically Italian. He's also going to extend on this as well, so there's a whole other section due to come later in the year that he's working on at the moment. Uh, but we've got ourselves here 43 fields in total. Um, the biggest one looks like field 20 there, um, and some very small ones um, tucked away in the corners. So there you go, 47, 40 look very small, 34 looks nice and small as well. So this is a, this is a small machinery map. Um, maybe machinery uh, of a medium size at a push. Um, but not only is this map cool, and this is what, you know, I was so excited about this map coming out. The website that he pulled together to promote this map is unbelievable as well. Right down to the point that he's recommended um, appropriate um, vehicles um, to use on the map. And he's obviously... Um, very close with the guys, you know, the DD Mod Passion guys, Agritono, SMI Modding, and Pepe978, uh, and Vertigo Design, who've been creating some of the best Italian uh, and European uh, small farming mods for a long time now, um, but well worth going and checking out. The site, he's even got links to all of those mods as well, and he's provided links to 68 appropriate mods, so if you want to play authentic, all the mods are there. So I've installed all of those. And using the new uh, brilliant additional settings tool uh, mod that came out this week in the mod hub, you can actually turn off basic machines in the shop. So I can switch that off. And then basically the only mods that we'll be able to see in game are the mods that he's recommended. So there you go. There's the tractors. Um, there's a few more tractors. And a couple of New Hollands. Um, and then harvesters just the harvesters that he recommends it's so good it's so good a mixture of that mod and the on the and the mods that he's recommended phenomenal stuff here we are in the start town so what we're going to do we're going to head up north uh, we're going to start at lateria matese i hope i'm saying that right and we're going to work our way around the map um looking at all the different elements uh, there are three farms on the map um farm number one here called italia 
Um, farm number two is called Palma, which is sitting in the middle here. And farm number three, Azura, is sitting here. And that actually, if you're in new farmer mode, is the farm you start on. So farm number three is where you start with just one field and a chicken coop. Um, so we'll go and have a look at that as well. Um, so uh, without further ado, let's jump into it. Um, this is probably one of the most complete maps you can get as well. It's Maze Plus, all the Maze Plus extensions ready, Seasons ready, um, the Manure system ready as well. So um, you can have all of those installed, uh, which I have done as well. Um, but just driving down here, it feels so authentic. It feels so authentic. I mean, I just want to draw your attention to the signs as well. So look at these beautiful Italian road signs. Um, look at that gorgeous um, quite substantial speed bumps as well um, but it just feels incredibly Italian even down to the trees and but the models he's been making as well I mean obviously the guy's got talent from his uh, from his job but wow they are gorgeous absolutely gorgeous so here we are this is our first location this is uh, one of the grain unload points so you can unload your props here and load them onto the working train on the map. So that is your first cell point. Um, we'll follow the road around a little bit here. Just over the road here is your animal cell point. So you can collect your animals there. And off in the distance you can hear we're at the railway station. So you get the announcement. Um, and you can hear the bell ringing there as well because it sounds like the train's coming through and actually perfect timing. Here comes the train, so we can have a look at that. Um, again, custom model train, an authentic Italian train, not the standard uh, train. Look at that. Lots of carriages on that and that's a well usable train. So uh, we'll go away because that uh, that uh, gentleman chatting is quite, uh, it's quite loud. Okay, so moving on from here, there's the animal cell point. If we head down the hill here under the bridge, uh, now it's a stop now, there's no train coming. Um, if we hang a right here and head up the hill, that's a little bit of a one-way system going on here. Up here we have a spinnery. So basically, you can drop off your wool here. Now what I like about what he's done here, he's put these points in instru instructing you uh, how to... Uh, use the map which is fantastic but if you go back to the information center in the, in the main town just over there where we started there is a there's a, an information point which allows you to switch these on and off so once you get comfortable with where everything is on the map you can just turn them off and uh, and you'll know what to do so there we go the spinnery and here's where you can sell your milk milk again uh, there is a little sign on the floor so Matese and in here somewhere, I can't quite find it, but there is a cell point for your milk. I wonder if it's around the other side. Yes, there we go. And as you can see, another instruction point there. As the train goes past again, there's the instruction point uh, for your milk. Okay, let's head out of here. Now we're going to double back on ourselves a little bit here, um, because we're going to go and look at the other cell points at the top of the map. And just while they're driving around, it's uh, honestly the lighting, the types of trees that they have, the the, the green uh, sides of the road, even the bushes, everything is just so Italian. You know, obviously, uh, he's a he's a as a native Italian, so he can get a feel for it. But he's he's managed to transfer that into the game so so well. So um, I'm, I'm blown away. I really am. So we'll just head up here. Um, as you can see, we're back at the uh, first cell point, the grain cell point. And I've crossed the bridge here, and we'll turn around to here. He's done some beautiful models. So here we are now at the uh, wood chip and logging point. So what you can do here is you can actually get into both of these machines. So there we go, a rather large wood chipper. And if I tab, um, you've also got a crane here, which you can manoeuvre about. Uh, drop your um, drop your load off from the road here or actually there is a road up into the woods there so you can have logging equipment and be quite self-sufficient up in the hills if you want as well right we'll take a little run into the woods here just so you can have a look around absolutely gorgeous again uh, beautiful stuff and the little um, castle or 
or monument up on the hill here, which is really, really nice as well. Um, just so much character, so much character. The lighting's gorgeous as well. Now, if you stand right up here and look back across the valley, it is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Just beautiful. Anyway, enough of that. Let's jump in our trusty steed. Let's head back down the hill here and uh, roll on to our next point. What I will say is um, I'm running my graphics pretty high at the moment um, and uh, it's running incredibly smoothly the whole time. There isn't doesn't seem to be any kind of lag in the built-up areas or where there's, where there's more stuff. Um, but this is just gorgeous. I, I'm honestly lost for words. Honestly lost for words how lovely this is. So again, there's another access back to the log, uh, logging wood chipping point as well. Um, the trains obviously disappear off into the into the hills there um, and cross over that bridge as well. Um, drive around these lovely winding roads. Up the only even these concrete bollards at the side of the road are incredibly realistic. Um, reminds me of when I was cycling in the Dolomites a couple of years ago with those uh, fences. Um, round here, now there is a drop-off point here. This is a grain drop-off point. And again, just all these custom models, absolutely gorgeous. So you can drop your grains into here to be transferred around the map on the train. So you can see the load points there. So you just need to tip them in there to get them transferred to the train. But look at that, isn't that beautiful? Absolutely gorgeous. Right, let's crack on further along here. Um, obviously on map tours like this, it's impossible to show you everything, and I almost don't want to. I want to leave you guys to uh, explore and find maybe some things uh, of your own that you uh, uh, discover. I think that's part of the joy of it, isn't it? Um, now, in here, if I turn in here, this is farm number three. This is the farm you get in new farmer mode when you start, um, if you want to start in that mode. Uh, and you get yourself just the one field, and you get yourself a rather nice custom chicken coop as well. So there you go, there's your buy your chickens point. Um, and some lovely little chicken huts there. Again, really, uh, there's, things haven't been plonked down on this map. Everything has been considered. Everything has been considered and looks like it belongs. So absolutely gorgeous. Along to here as well, here's your little field. Uh, very nice, just running down the side of the train track there. Um, so this could be a lovely little survival series, if somebody fancies it. Because you do not get much to start with. Some nice sheds, look at all this authentic kind of stuff lying around. It feels very Italian, very Italian. Um, a little auger there. Um, we've got a water fill point here. Uh, and your auger... Um, is actually for here where you've got a little silo so you just tip your trailer in there and you've got a little point where you can look after your uh, crops until the prices are good um, a few seed seed pallets there uh, to get you started as well so we're in the middle of the map now and I'm going to I'm going to go straight on here actually and we'll go and look at the main farm um, you can just see a BGA over there peeking up and down to our um, down to our left is the sawmill as well which we'll go and have a look at in a little minute but just now um, if I hang a right here with the entrance to the farm and we'll head up this hill on these lovely uh, dusty dirt tracks uh, we will get ourselves to the main farm there it is, up on the hill there, resplendent in the Italian countryside. Nice little shed on the way there as well. Looks like a bit of a one-way system. There's a path coming back down the other way there as well. So we're going to loop around this field here. Uh, the level changes in this map are really nice as well. You almost don't notice that you're climbing, but when you get there, you're like, oh, wow, I'm really high up. So here we go, a lovely little uh, outcrop there. Uh, a little medieval point and then into this walled farm I mean you couldn't get more Italian than that could you it's absolutely beautiful 
So here we go. Through here. And into your farmyard. Lovely stone buildings. You've got a storage point there. So you can drop your drop your grain in. Uh, beautiful milking parlour here. Uh, that's where you load your milk up as well. I've got the animal pen extension on, so I need to set those up. But look at the milking parlour. Look at this open air milking parlour. Um, it's just phenomenal. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, and there's your ramp down to join back onto the roads to get yourselves out of here. Just, oh, honestly lost for words. Lost for words. In fact, we'll head out this way. There you go, you've got um, pigs on this farm as well. So a nice pig enclosure there. Um, so lots of choice for animals. There's your buy point for your cattle as well. So this is your cattle pen. Lovely outdoor space for the cattle as well. Fantastic. And here, sheep. So again, another nice sheep pasture behind you as well. So lots and lots of animal choices on this big farm. Fantastic. And like I said on the way up, um, there's another path down here, which joins back to the main entrance to the farm. I've driven around this a few times now, and every time I spot something something that I've not seen before. It, there's so many little Easter eggs and, and little things just hiding that you just come across and, and just slightly taken aback by. It's just great. Just great. So let's head back down the hill. There is a lot of stuff down at the bottom of the map I want you to see. Got a little gas station here, which I didn't even mention when we arrived. Um, but what I'll do here, I'll go straight on over this road now, and we'll go straight to the um, sawmill. Just before we headed over to the sawmill there, there's our horses. This is a lovely horse paddock here. Um, beautifully beautifully laid out uh, again. Um, lovely white fencing there. Some jumps in the field, great for exercising the horses. And uh, then we'll just head down here and turn left. And we'll arrive at the sawmill. So there we are. Drop our logs in there. You can sell them. There's your wood chipping point as well. And again, you can drop things off if you brought them down on the train as well. So, again, the buildings. All designed. Originals. So they feel so in keeping with the maps. Gorgeous. Okay, let's head along here because the next thing we're going to arrive at is the beach. And as you can see now, we're kind of at the bottom end of the valley. The fields start to get a little bit bigger. They're still not huge fields, you know, not by American standards. But um, you've got that bit of variety, some small fields and some medium fields. So depending on what your, uh, what your poison is, you can, uh, you can pick and choose. So let's just turn here underneath this wooden bridge. And over to our right here is the BGA and some silage silos. So again, uh, pretty pretty standard for this kind of part of the world. Lots of grass work, lots of silage, um, lots of animal work. So a lovely BGA here with a couple of big bunkers. In fact, there's three big bunkers there to use. Um, and then all, obviously, the outputs that come from that. Okay, we're out on the big main road at the bottom of the map. We are heading to the shop. So the shop is right at the bottom of the map. Um, so you might want to consider putting store deliveries on if you're uh, working in the top half of the map. But uh, either way, it's a lovely, again, a lovely designed little uh, shop. Some kind of random tools lying around, which is always nice to see. Um, but there you go. That's where you get your machinery from. Now just ahead of us here you can see those flashing lights, he's done it in the, in the shape of a kind of roadworks. But that is where the larger version of the map that he's working on, the pro version, will extend to. So uh, as he finishes working on that and launches it, uh, we will get that opened up. Um, so really looking forward to that. But I think there's more than enough to keep us amused at the moment on this absolutely fantastic map. I am driving all over the road by the way like a proper British tourist in Europe. 
Um, okay, a uh, few more little things to show you, uh, and then that is it. A quick overview. I don't want to spend too long on here because really you've got to discover this for yourself. It's mind-bogglingly good, so I don't want to spoil it for you. But I just had to get this this little overview uh, done because it is just. I'm, I'm I am super excited about this map. No question, there will be a series on this map from me. I know I've spent a lot of time doing American stuff recently, and I know I've got a lot of American followers, but this, this guys is, this is too good to not look at in a little bit more detail. So just here, we've got uh, another silage clamp, which is rather nice. Uh, but what's brilliant about this is the fact that you can tip into the train and ship it to the BGA by train you do not have to haul it on the roads how good is that okay we are heading up the uh, left hand side of the map here running alongside the train track that loops around the whole place and we are coming up on the final cell point here it is just in front of us now and this is basically a grain unload point so you can drop your grain in here and get it shipped around the map, not a sell point should I say, just a transfer point. So you can unload your grain here into a train and get it moved off to one of the sell points somewhere else on the map. So, um, like I said, just um, cleverly thought through. This whole map has been incredibly well thought out. Um, and it feels bigger than it looks. You know, you open the, you open the PDA and it looks like a small map, but actually when you're driving around it, because I think because of the the different contours and the different heights of the map and things like these archways and walls and, and focus points that you, you just get immersed in it and you forget uh, where you are but actually it's uh, it feels it plays and feels like a bigger map uh, again another entrance to where the pro version will be or the next version of the map the slightly bigger version of the map and uh, we'll just go over this rather large speed bump but we are back where we started. There's the and there's the dairy there, uh, and we're heading back up to the train station and the grain cell point just up here. And there's the town just ahead of us. So there you go, a very quick tour of the new map Italia from Edo Mod EGA Gaming, and it is revolutionary. There you go. I can't think of another word. It is just one of the most stunningly beautiful maps I have I've seen in Farming Simulator. In fact, it is the most stunningly beautiful map I've seen in Farming Simulator so far. Um, he's I literally, honestly, I think he might have just changed the game for uh, for map makers. Uh, I have never seen something that is so authentically real and feels so authentically Italian as this. It's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. So. Um, go and get this downloaded. I'm going to put a link to his website in the description below. Um, go and check out the website. Uh, find out a little bit more about it. Uh, support him if you can, because this is this is this has been a labour of love. This has been a labour of love. Um, but there you go, Italia. What an absolute stunner.